Xin chào các bạn, tôi là Bryce, kỹ sư kỹ thuật của em mình. Today I'm going to introduce you a practical counter, the E-Tech VPC 300. It is a tool designed to measure six different sizes of particle to determine the air pollution level. It can also measure the temperature, the dew point, the wet bulb, and the air humidity. It has a camera to allow the user to take a video of or picture of the area under measurement. Now let's start with the unboxing. Okay, for the unboxing, it is delivered with a certificate of calibration and very importantly, the zero count filter. I will explain later how does it work. It has the user guide with uh, a CD. If you want to connect it to a computer, you don't have to. Um, it also has a USB cable if you want to connect to a computer, a charger for the battery, and it has three different adapters depending on which country you want to use it in. The tripod and the, the device. So the humidity and the air temperature is here. Don't forget to open it before you measure and to close it to protect it afterward. The particle counter is here. Now if you want to recharge or connect it to the computer, you have it here and then the camera is behind. So now I'm gonna turn it on. So once you want to turn it on, you must press three seconds on the open button. So now that you're on the main menu, with F1 you have access to the pictures and the video you have taken. So you have the picture, the video and every measurement you made. Now you want to go back. F2 is the settings, if you want to change the date, the time, the language, but also the units, depending if you're uh, using Fahrenheit degrees or Celsius degrees. You can also choose to turn on or turn off the alarm, but I will come to this later. So now if you want to make a measurement, you press the arrow down here. So in the middle of the screen you have the six different sizes of particles. You have the air temperature, the air humidity, the wet bulb and the dew point. So to start before any measurements, you must set the device to the zero point. So for that, you're gonna unscrew this. And you're gonna plug this back in. Now that it's done, you want to start one, at least one measurement. So you press on run. And here you can see wait, so you wait until the measurement is done. Now that the zero is set, we unscrew the filter and then we put this back in. Now the device is ready and we just need to put it to the area we need to measure. But first, here are different options that we want to do. So first we want to press F3 and the device is ready we have different options so we're gonna go with F3 first the sample time meaning how long we want each measurement to be we can choose different seconds then the start delay if you want the measurement to start after one up to 100 seconds then quite importantly the cycle, meaning how many measurements we want the tools to do. And then we have the interval, meaning how many seconds between every cycle. So let's say I want to do only one measurement. That was going to be 20 seconds long, so I go with the sample time. And I'm gonna go down to 20 seconds. Once it's done, 
I validate with the arrow and escape to go back to the menu. Then if I want the delay, the start to be delay of 10 seconds, I'm gonna go here up to 10 seconds, validate, go back. Now let's say I want only one cycle. So here I have five cycle. I'm gonna go down to one. Only one measurement, validate and go back. In interval, there, are, there will be no interval since there is only one sample. Now that this is done, I go back to the menu. I put the tool in the area I want to measure. So let's say here. And I run the test. Now I wait for it to be down. The test is done and here we have the different results. Here you can see you have three colors, green, orange and red, depending to know that the measurement has been done. Let's say I want to take a picture so I remember exactly where this measurement has been effected. So I remember exactly where I did this measurement. So F1 for the camera. Now F1 will be picture and F3 will be a video. So I just want a simple picture so I go F1. And the picture is taken. Now I can save it or delete it. F1 I save it. And now it's over. I can just go back. So now let's say I want to... If I go back to the main menu, I want to have access to this measurement. I'm going to press F1. I have pictures, video and particle logs, which means the measurement. So I'm going to open it here. So here I have two measurements, so I don't know which one it is. But I can just read. And here I have the time. 4 p.m., 24 minutes and nine seconds, so this, this was taken three minutes ago. So this is the measurement I just made. Different options when you go to the menu and you go to simple mode, you can do cumulative measurements, which is what we just did, which is what we just did. Then we have the differential measurement and the concentration measurement. For more detail, you should check the user guide. It's very well explained. I just introduced you the particle counter, uh, ETEC VPC300. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you again. Bye.